What's up, gang? It's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. Today, I want to talk about uh, how sequencing, if you don't have sequencing um, dialed in uh, in your business once somebody chooses to hire you, um, you're potentially creating chaos um, and confusion for your clients. So I recently got into a program. Um, I've been in these programs before, same same creator of the programs, and um it's just amazing content, amazing, amazing content. And I always learn something amazing. And this person has great messaging on the front end of their marketing. Like I love, um, I love their marketing. I always hear myself in their marketing. So their message is so on point and I always uh, find value in it. What I've noticed in this particular program, it's the first program I think they're launching of this, right? They're launching this program. And what I'm noticing is that, um, I started listening to it today and I didn't know where to start. So I started into the program materials and I, um, and it, it was overwhelming. It was overwhelming. Like there was all the different videos, all these different audios, all the stuff to do. And I didn't know what to do with it. And I found myself starting to get confused. Right. Uh, and I, as I was, as I was confused, what I realized was, um, a simpler sequence would have made this easier. Like I appreciate all the content. I'm looking forward to all the content. But in this moment, I am i don't know what to do next. And this happens, right? Right. Uh, what, what would have made that better for me is to have a very narrow passageway that I could have gone through. In other words, only give me the next thing to to watch or listen to. And once that thing's complete, give me the next thing and then give me the next thing. And if you could sequence it that way, rather than um, letting me see it all, rather than pulling the curtain back so I can see it all, it l then it would have been easier for me to orient myself to what is required of me to get the most out of this program, right? And uh, I'm not saying, like, I, I, think, I think if it was just even the sequencing in the beginning, like in the welcome section, like, okay, welcome to the program. Here's the first thing and I complete it. Second thing completed, third thing completed. Then by the time I got done with the welcome, I'd be like, oh, okay, I think I'm getting this now. And then you could kind of peel back the curtain more. That'd be fine. But here's the point, right? Here's the point. Um, as I, By the way, as I've gone further down the lessons, like it's getting clearer for me and that's cool. But what I noticed was the immediate confusion I had up front. And for somebody who's not, like I'm pretty patient, especially when I want something, and I'm pretty um, capable of moving through a lot of minutia and hanging in there with the, you know, you can find that confusion creates panic. I'm okay hanging in the confusion and the panic. I'm like, I will figure this out. Just breathe, just stay with it. Where is this going? But many people aren't. And so you could lose people from the very beginning of their relationship with you, simply because they're not wired to handle all the confusion. And even if they stuck around, they might not produce the results that you want them to produce, that they want to produce. And so then you don't retain them as a client because nobody stays with you for long if results aren't produced. So the, it, there's just a sequencing that makes this valuable. And what I what I know for me for so many years was that because I wasn't a systems guy, so to speak, although I'm much better at that now, I never gave sis the, the sequencing of things, the system of things, um, the time of day. I just was like, I don't care. I'll figure it out, whatever. It's, it's, no, it's no big deal. Um, <laughs> it was just what, how naive, right? Like how, whatever. So there are people in your, uh, that if you were able to find your message, which by the way is the hardest part up front. But once you find your message, if you, if you could sequence uh, the process with them once they, once they hire you, it would go a long way in adding value to them. It's like that they would be so glad that they found you and, and spent money on you, invested in you. And you would be so glad that you found them because they're producing results and giving you social proof for the services that you provide to the world. And, and some of that is just about having a sequence for them. First do this. Is it done? Okay, good. Now we're going to do this. 
Is that done? Great. Now we're going to do, so you don't give them the whole thing. You have to show some self-restraint, right? In, in, it's easy when we're proud of our work and the things we do. We're like, okay, now that you're here, let me show you all the stuff. And in showing them all the stuff, it freaks them out. And then they don't know what to do and it paralyzes them. So I'm just telling you, like, I mean, look, usually we talk about marketing in this show because it's marketing for the rest of us. But your marketing is leading somewhere. Your marketing is leading them to your services. And if your services, as they come into your services, if they're confusing and not sequenced, then it actually undermines the whole thing. Like what good was finding, what, what, what good was it to go through all the hard work and soul searching to find your message and your voice and your truth only to leave them confused upon entry. So here is what there is to do, gang. I'm gonna leave you with this today. What I want you to do is start to think about what are the, let's just, you can make it four. What are the first four things they're gonna need to do with you or that they're gonna need to learn or whatever it is that coming into the service and sequence that out. Now, if, if you can make that, you might you might come up with the second four. Just keep chunking it into groups of four. Like here's the first four things they're gonna do. And then just give them the first thing. And they don't get access to the second thing until they do the first, right? And so on and so on and so on until they feel confident, until they feel like, okay, I've got my bearings. I can see where I am. And now I'm ready for more, right? If you go back to yesterday's video where we talked about capacity, right? Our, I was talking about how my capacity had expanded. And at the edge of capacity, we don't feel like we have room for more. And so we have to rethink and re retrain ourselves to allow more in. Well, if you just bombard people with, with, with information right out of the gate working with you, it can be really hard for uh, they're, they're already at capacity. So you've got to, um, ease them into it. Okay. So that, so that as they find their bearings, their capacity will expand. All right, gang, thanks for hanging out with me in this episode for marketing for the rest of us until tomorrow. Here's to you. Here's to you sequencing your services.